Hello, you guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Lenny and I look at him. Oh my God. He's being such a ham this morning. So I figured I would get him in nice and close today so you guys can see him. Say hi. And now he's probably going to go try to find that mouse. You going to stay with us? Hope you are all doing well today. We're going to do a great yoga session. I mean, they're always great, aren't they? Well, with that, Go ahead and get your mat set up, get some water, get yourself ready to go. I don't know what this was. This is like my dance move. It's, it's bad. Hello, glad you could make it today. Go ahead and get your mat, get your water. My pet just ran away, so uh, hopefully yours are there to stay with you and bring you some joy in your life. Otherwise, come on down to the floor and get yourself nice and comfortable. Oh, let me back. You guys probably won't see Finn. He's been just like MIA lately, but that's okay. He's hanging out with uh, my husband upstairs while he's working. Let's come into a nice, comfortable seat on the floor. Legs crossed, sitting up nice and tall. You can bring your hands into your lap in any way that's comfortable for you. And go ahead and just close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Inhaling in. And out. Keep that rhythm going in and out through the nose. And just bring all of your attention to the breath. Notice how it feels as it enters into the body. And as it exits. Smile while we're just sitting here. Help to encourage that cellular change within the brain just by a simple muscle movement in your mouth. And I mean, why wouldn't you want to smile? You're an awesome human. You're showing up for yoga today, and it's going to be a fantastic day. With that next inhale, bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Take a big inhale in and out. Notice what part of your body is moving when you breathe. Is it just your chest? Is it just your belly? With your next inhale, I want you to consciously feel that breath move from the top of your torso all the way down to the lowest part of your ribs. Inhale, expand through that whole front body. Exhale, let it go. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Bring your hands right to your ribs. And this one's going to be a little trickier if you're not used to breathing and forcing your lungs to move in a specific way. But as you inhale, I want you to feel your ribs moving left and right. So inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Go ahead and just relax your hands down. Keep sitting up nice and tall. Loop those shoulder blades back and down your spine, creating space between your ears and your shoulders. And just take another big inhale in. Just focus on that breath. And if you notice your mind is already starting to wander, start to count your breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four. And keep counting until you get to 10 and then start again. Feel the weight of your body getting a little heavier into your mat. And just notice yourself becoming a little more calm, a little more grounded, ready to start the practice. Inhale, open your eyes, bring your hands right down at your hips, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale in 
extend out. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way up to the ceiling. Big stretch here. Exhale, float your hands all the way back down. Inhale, lifting, looking up. Exhale, down. Inhale. And exhale. One more, all the way up, holding it at the top. Exhale, release and twist to the left, bringing that right hand onto the left knee, left fingertips on the floor behind you. Look over your left shoulder. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Don't round forward in your spine here. Inhaling in. And as you exhale, part your jaw, part your lips, releasing through your jaw, releasing through the right side of your neck here. Focus on that breath. Big inhale in, feel your entire body fill up with air. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, twist to the right this time. Left hand to the right knee, right fingertips on the floor behind you. Look over your right shoulder, part your lips, just breathe. No straining at all, just find your edge and don't go beyond it. One more big inhale. And out. Inhale, arms up and overhead. And exhale, release your hands down to the front side of your knees, fingertips tucking just under. Inhale, press your chest to the sky, look up, but don't crank your head all the way back. We don't want to compress the nerves in the back of our neck. Inhaling in, really straighten through those arms. Keep your chest lifted, and with your exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Feeling some lengthening through your spine, through your neck here. Don't forget to smile and breathe. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more, just like that, in. And as you exhale, we're going to tuck our chin into our chest and we're going to pull our belly button to the back wall, rounding forward. Keep your arms nice and lengthened here. Inhaling in. And out. Holding it here in this position, really feeling that lengthening going through your entire spine. Turn your tailbone as if you're trying to turn it towards the ceiling here. Pull that belly button in. Breathe. Inhale, lengthen, rolling through that spine. Press your chest forward, look to the sky. Exhale, round, pulling your spine all the way back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, all the way back up, sitting up nice and tall. Take one more big inhale in. And out. Go ahead and come into your tabletop position with your knees underneath of your hips here and your wrists directly underneath of your shoulders. I want you to take that left leg. We're going to press. Send it out, bringing the bottom of your foot flat onto the ground. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, let it go. We're going to get our cat cow involved. So inhale, drop that belly, send your hips to the sky. Feel the stretch through that inner thigh here. Exhale, round, pull your belly button to the spine, tuck your tailbone under, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Press through the bottom of that left foot, the top of that right foot. Keep the movement going with your breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Great. Pull that left leg in. Tuck your toes under your cat. <laughs> Just kidding. Not a requirement. And take your right foot out this time, bringing the bottom of your foot down, really pressing firmly into that left foot here, the top of your left foot. 
Inhale, drop that belly, send your hips up, press through your feet. Exhale, round through your spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Keep it going. One more. Great, come back into our neutral spine, pulling that leg in. I want you to bring your elbows down right where your hands are and go ahead and walk your knees back several inches. Send your hips to the sky, bring your chest and your forehead all the way down towards the mat. You can open up your arms a little wider, finding what's comfortable for your shoulders here. Consciously roll your shoulder blades back and down your spine. You'll feel your torso shifting forward here. Inhaling in and out. For a deeper stretch, you can look towards your fingertips, bring your chin down to the mat, opening your arms maybe slightly wider, bringing that chest even closer to the floor. Inhaling in, exhale, pull that belly button into your spine. Let it go. In and out. Inhale, shift forward, coming onto your belly, extending your arms out in front of you. Bring your forehead down. We'll take a breath there. Inhaling in and out. Bring your hands back right underneath of your shoulders. Inhale, we're just going to lift our head, chin, chest off the mat. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine into a baby cobra. Exhale, lower it all the way down. Bring your right cheek down to the mat. Inhale, lengthening, baby cobra. Exhale, left cheek down. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale, we're gonna press through our arms, lifting our entire upper body off the mat. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Take a big inhale in. And as you exhale, we're gonna open our knees as wide as our mat, bring your big toes to touch, send it back in a child's pose, bringing your heels, bring your hips to your heels, that forehead all the way down. Focus on your breath here, big inhale in. And out. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Notice if you're holding any tension in your face, in your arms, your shoulders, your ribs, your lower body, and just actively let it go. And bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With that next inhale, find your flow all the way back up to your tabletop position. Take a big inhale in. And as you exhale, step one foot back and then the other, coming all the way up into plank. Shift your weight so your wrists are right underneath of your shoulders here. Press your heels towards that back wall. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, we're gonna step that right foot forward, bringing it in between your hands. Lower that back leg down, keeping a nice straight line in your front leg here and not straight in your back leg, but slight angle. So you can uncurl your back toes, inhaling in, shift that weight forward, taking the pressure out of your knee, really press through the top of that left foot here. Focus on your breath, big inhale, exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up and overhead. Sink your body weight forward here. Getting a nice big stretch through your hip flexors, through the iliopsoas. 
really working out all of the stuff that can cause any of that low back pain here. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, exhale. Bring your hands down, curl your toes under. We're gonna lift that knee up off the mat. Step it in just slightly. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, coming into our warrior one. You can turn that back heel down onto the floor, angling your toes towards the center of your mat. Pull your belly button in, tuck that tailbone under. It's super important. We don't want our butt flaring out towards that back wall. Tuck it under here. Inhaling in, and as we exhale, straighten through that front leg, turn your torso towards the camera here. We can release that right arm down, keeping your left arm nice and high into a triangle pose. Big inhale, and exhale. Just catch wherever you can with your hand. Don't drop all the way to the floor. We don't need to overstretch anything, overextend beyond our abilities. Focus on your breath. Big inhale in and out. Inhale all the way back up. Arms open as wide as your mat into our warrior two. Pull your pinkies towards that back wall. Tuck your tailbone under. Look over your front fingers. Inhaling in and out. Shift your waist. We've got a nice 90 degree bend in that front knee. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen those arms, lengthen that leg. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, exhale. In and out. One more, in. Holding it at the top, turn your right toes towards that front wall. As we exhale, we're gonna slowly send our hips to the back wall. Slight bend in your knees as you come down. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, press your fingertips into the floor, straighten through your back here, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press and lengthen. Exhale, fold. With that next inhale, we're gonna walk our hands to the left side, turning our feet, plant those palms, step one foot back, coming into our plank. And when you're ready, take a big inhale in, Exhale, keep your elbows in to your side. Slowly lower all the way to your mat. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, press through your arms into upward dog. Exhale, send it back in child's pose. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale in. Exhale, close your eyes. Relax your forehead all the way down. Allow your breath to come to a nice normal rhythm. Inhaling in, and out. And bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. Inhale, find your flow all the way up to plank. Really pressing your heels towards that back wall, making sure your wrists are right underneath of your shoulders. Press away from the ground here. We don't want to sink into our shoulders. Inhaling in and out. Inhale. Exhale, pull your belly button into your spine. One more, just like that. In. Out, step that left foot forward. Bring it in between your hands. Lengthen forward, look forward. Exhale, release that leg, your right leg down to the floor. Go ahead and inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Again, shifting your body weight, taking the pressure out of that knee. You can uncurl your toes, press firmly into the top of that right foot. Focus on your breath here. 
You can always bring your arms right onto your hips. Tuck that tailbone under here. Big inhale and exhale. One more big breath here. And exhale, bring your hands back down, freeing that foot. Curl your toes under. We're going to lift up in that back leg. Step it forward just slightly. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Warrior one. Tuck that tailbone under. It's very important to get the best stretch and really work on our mobility. Pull your belly button into your spine. Feel your core engaged. Tone through your quads, tone through your thighs in general, your hamstrings. Feel every single muscle in your body working right now. Inhale. Exhale. Plant that back heel down. Open up into our warrior two. Shift that weight forward, coming into a 90 degree bend here. Pull your pinkies to the back wall. Look over your left fingers. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms up, legs straight. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale. And exhale. Keep it going. Find a nice subtle flow for your body. Don't make it feel like these stiff, rigid movements. One more. All the way up. Sink it down. Bring it back to the top. Holding it there. Turn your toes towards the camera. Get a slight bend in your knees. Take a big inhale, look, lengthen, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, holding it at the bottom here. Tuck your chin into your chest, you can even walk your hands to the back side of your mat, feeling yourself sinking a little more. You can always put a slight bend in your knees if you're feeling uncomfortable at all. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. When that next inhale, turn yourself to the right side of your mat. Plant your palms. Step one foot back. And then move through your vinyasa. And send it into child's pose. Bringing your forehead all the way down. Closing your eyes just focusing on your breath. Inhaling in and out. Biggest inhale you've taken all day. In, out. With your next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog this time. Sending your hips to the ceiling, pulling your chest towards your thighs. You can have a slight bend in your knees if you need to. It's okay if your heels are slightly lifted. That comes with time, with practice, so you gain the flexibility. Inhaling in and out. Big inhale in. And out. With your next inhale, walk yourself all the way to the front of your mat. Coming into our halfway lift, lengthening through that torso, through your legs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we're going to draw a big circle with our arms, standing all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, palms together, bring them to your heart. Step to the center of your mat. 
Take a big inhale in, fix your clothes. Sweep your arms all the way back up. Exhale, release them down. Open your legs as wide as you would like, but not to where it's uncomfortable. Take a big inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, holding it here, bringing your left fingertips right underneath of your nose here. Inhale, glide that right arm across your body, opening it to the ceiling here. Take a big inhale in. And exhale, bring it down, replace with that left hand. Bring that left hand all the way up. Take a big inhale in. And as you exhale, bring it down, switch sides again. Keep it going with your breath. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Get your neck involved. Look to the ceiling as you raise that arm. Look to the floor as you lower it. Do one more each side. Last one. Great. Forward fold. You can bring your hands, one elbow to the opposite elbow. And just allow yourself to be here in ragdoll. Give yourself a nice big bend in your knees. You can get a slight rock side to side. Inhaling in. Exhale, release those hands down, lengthen, look forward. I'm going to have you send your weight into that right foot, lengthening through your left leg here. Inhale, walk yourself to the left side. Nice and steady with that breath. Use your hands to help guide you across your mat, keeping your foot firmly planted on the floor. One more, each side. And come back into center. We're going to heel toe our toes and our feet in. Point those toes towards the corner. Have your feet slightly wider than hip distance. Bring your palms together. Send them into your knees and slowly drop your hips down as comfortably as you can. So if you have to keep your hips higher, that's okay. Just make sure your chest is lifted up here. Focus on your breath. Focus on getting nice and long through your torso. Take a big inhale in and out. Feel that oxygen going to the base of your lungs. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going just like that. Big breath in. Exhale. You can stay right here if this is enough of a test for you. Or you can try to lift one heel off the ground and then the other. Playing around with your balance, playing around with working all of those smaller muscles in our feet. Or you can try to bring both heels off the mat at the same time, holding it for three, two, one. Slow and controlled, release them down. I'm going to be here for two more breaths. You guys can do it. I know you're probably feeling the burn. I am too. Big inhale in and out. One more breath here. Great. Go ahead and turn yourself to the right side of your mat. Step both of your feet back and send yourself through your vinyasa. And you can keep your knees tucked in nice and close into the center so you can open up through that low back, sweep your hands back behind and release your forehead, or you can open them up as wide as the mat like we've practiced and just sink your hips to your heels. Use your hands to press your hips a little closer to your heels here. Focus on that breath. Big inhale in and out. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Pull your abs into your spine. Feel yourself just relaxing here, surrendering, and letting your breath come to a nice normal rhythm.
bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. And with your next inhale, find your flow all the way up to our plank position. I want you to take that right knee towards your right wrist and that ankle towards your left wrist. Flex through your toes, lower through that back leg, uncurl your toes. You might have to inch that leg back behind you. Inhale, lengthen forward. You can hold it here, or you can slowly start to lower yourself down onto your forearms. If you have a block, this is when it's really nice. If you don't quite have that mobility to come all the way down, you can come down onto the block at the different heights. You can use it to rest your head onto. And again, you can play around with all of those heights. We're gonna be here for several breaths, really allowing this part of our leg to fully release into the glutes and so on. So get yourself nice and comfortable. Make sure you're flexing that right foot. We wanna make sure that we're protecting our knee at all times. Inhaling in and out. Feel yourself pulling that right hip towards the right corner of your mat, leveling your hips out here. You'll get an even deeper stretch. So again, you can stay right up here or if it's within your avail availability, you bring your forehead all the way down to the floor and just focus on that breath. Big inhale in and out. Notice where you're holding in that tension and just actively let it go. Notice if your shoulders are creeping up towards your ears. Relax them back and down your spine, creating that space. Two more breaths here. Last one. Press your hands back into the mat, lengthen that upper body. We're gonna hold it here at the top. Slow and steady, lift that back leg away from the floor. You can bring your right hand right in center of your chest. Reach that left hand back to catch the inside edge and work your way down towards your ankle. Inhale, slowly pull at your foot and leg towards your body a little closer. Really stretching through the top part of our thigh here. Flex your toes down, inhaling in, pull that shoulder blade to the back wall. Exhale, release. We're gonna come down, we're gonna curl those left toes under, press firmly into your hands, send your right leg back, pull your left leg forward. Get yourself nice and comfortable, getting that left foot where you'd like it, flexing those toes, uncurling your back toes, Lengthen, press through your arms here. Make sure you're flexing in that left foot. And when you're ready, find your version of where you're avail available to come down to. We're just gonna focus on our breath. Big inhale in and out. And you don't have to force yourself to come all the way to the floor if you notice. I'm staying here first for several breaths, allowing my body to become acclimated to this posture. And then when I feel ready, then I will release my head down to the floor. So you can just focus on that breath. Big inhale in, exhale. Really think of pulling that left hip towards that left corner, pressing your right hip towards the front corner. Inhaling in and out. And stay here for several breaths. And 
and make sure you're relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. And paying attention to where you're holding in that tension. Just let it go. If you're like, that's way easier said than done, Leslie. How do I just let it go? <laughs> Wherever you feel it. So for example, I feel it in my thigh. I will flex my thigh and then relax it. And just through that active contract relax, you will aid, you're able to help release that tension. Big inhale in, fill your lungs all the way up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Be here for three more breaths. And last one. Great. Slow and with control. Engage your abs. Press your hands into the floor. Lengthen through your upper body here. Bring that left hand in front in the center of your body, slow and controlled. Lift that right leg off the floor, flex your foot. Reach your right hand back, catch where you can. If you're just slightly above or even close, that's totally fine. Inhaling in, flexing through that foot. Pull your leg towards your body, even closer here. Loop that right shoulder blade towards the back wall. Inhale, exhale, release it down. This time we're going to roll onto our left hip, sweep your right leg in front of you, extend both of your legs out, sit up nice and tall, bring your hands right at your hips, chest lifted, chin towards that back wall, inhaling in and out. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold over and catch wherever you can. Maybe it's your shins, your ankles. In time, you'll be able to get to the bottoms of your feet. You can play around with how little or how much you have your knees bent here. Find what's comfortable for you. Tuck your chin into your chest. And every day is going to be different. Some days you'll be able to get to the bottom of your feet. Some days it's going to be more comfortable to lessen that stretch and just listen to your body. Inhale, lengthen through that upper body. Bring the bottoms of your feet down to the mat. Shift your hips a little closer to your heels here. Bring those arms out in front, palms open to the ceiling. Take a big inhale in, lift higher in your chest. Exhale, we're going to release ourselves all the way down to the mat. Bring those arms up and overhead. Get a big stretch here. Exhale, bring your knees into your chest. Give them a little tug. Lifting that tailbone off the mat. Finding stillness here. Take a big inhale in and out. Go ahead and release that left leg down. You're going to bring your right palm down to the floor. Take your left hand onto your right knee. Send your right knee over to the left side of your mat. Look towards your right hand. Take a big inhale in and out. Try to keep that right shoulder blade down onto the mat. Sorry, Lenny's trying to go under my mat. <laughs> Crazy cat. Focus on your breath. Big inhale in. Exhale, sinking a little deeper into that twist. Inhale all the way back up, both legs into your chest. Give them a little tug. And then release that right leg down. Send your left palm to the floor. Send your knee to the right side of your mat, keeping that left shoulder blade down. Look towards your left fingers. Take a big inhale in and out. Inhaling in and out. Inhale.
Inhale, roll back to center. Bring both knees into your chest here. Give them a little tug. And when you're ready, release one leg and then the other. Bring your arms down to the floor. Closing your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Biggest breath you've taken all day. Let it go. As we move into our Savasana pose, this is our time for us to be still, be present, and just breathe plenty. It's getting a little wild. <laughs> so when you notice your mind starts to wander, start to count your breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four, keep that going until you get to ten, and then start again. the next inhale, wiggle your toes, wrap your legs left and right, wiggle your fingertips, wrap your arms left and right, shift your torso left and right, when you open your eyes, rock your head left and right. So when you're ready, roll on your side facing knee, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale, press through your hands. Lift yourself away from the floor. Come into a nice, comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands right into your lap. Closing your eyes. Take a big inhale in. And out. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. Exhale. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. One more big inhale in. Exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's session. It's always a pleasure. I'm glad Lenny actually stuck around for most of it. Usually he's like the, the dying ditch kind of cat. Like, all right, they saw my face. I'm out. <laughs> Anyways. If you enjoyed today's session, um, feel free to uh, leave me a donation. It's always very helpful and much appreciated. Um, I do also currently have my tank tops available, um, which there's links for that in the group. They're really freaking cute, and the order is officially going to print, and I just cannot wait to get them. So, 
Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and like and all the things you're supposed to do that I'm supposed to tell you. So anyway, it's very so awkward, awkward for me to say that. Um, be good humans, stay hydrated, and uh, go make the best of today. Even if you are stuck inside, find something outside of your normal to do. So, bye.